Hello everyone. Today we are going to be looking at one of the topmost questions that is being asked during a data engineering or data science or data analyst interview, which is for you to write a query to display the top three salaried employees in each department. You want to write a query to display top three salaried employees in each department and you have been given a table right here okay so first thing we want to do is let us execute this query so that we will see the structure of the table okay if we execute very good you can see we have employee id first name last name email id salary department manager id okay now we want for in each department you can see we have hr and it department right here but we want to see the top three salaried employees in each of these departments okay now to solve this type of question we we'll need we we'll like to use uh analytical functions right here okay now i will want to use this opportunity to explain the difference between these three uh, analytical functions which are row number rank and dense rank and then after we understood those three then we will then use dense rank to solve this problem set and why is it that it is dense rank that we are going to be using to solve this problem set you are going to see it shortly okay now for now let us first of all understand what is row number row number is a function that helps to assign unique number to each row within a particular result set okay it helps to assign a unique row a unique it helps to assign a unique number to each row within a particular result set. What do we really mean by this? Okay, let us first of all assume that right here we only need for we need first name. So let me write first name, and maybe I need last name. Uh, maybe I need email. I need salary, and then I need the department. Let's just first of all run that first very good now we have that now if you're not talking about row number so i will put a comma here then i will say row number okay now for row number when you type in row number then you open and close your bracket and then you type in over what is the function of this over right here this over clause right here helps us to specify the partitioning and the ordering of the ranking that we are going to be using right here what do we mean by that if you say partitioning by what are you partitioning this table remember that according to this question they said that top three salaried employees in each department that means we are going to partition this table by department okay so that means inside here you're going to have over and then you say partition by by what by department okay and then it's also going to take the ordering how do you want to order this remember we are talking about salary and we have salary here so i would say order by salary okay now since we are talking about top three salaried employees so that means that we want to arrange it from the highest to the smallest so that means i will say descending okay now you can see right here i'm only selecting first name last name email salary department and then right here i'm doing a partition by depart by department and then ordering by the salary in decreasing order but i'm using an anal analytical function that is called row number if i run this let's see what we get right here okay you can see right here that we have row number you can see what is going on right here that this row number extends from one to for this hr because we partition by department so that means this is one partition this is another partition so for this first partition it gives each row a number you see one two three four five six and then for it it gives it one through seven i hope you get that right now guys and that is why i said that for row number it assigns unique number to each row 
within a particular result set so this is a result set right so it gives row number to it that means first row that means first row second row third row fourth row fifth row sixth row then this is another result set it gives you first row second row third row fourth row fifth row sixth row seventh row okay you can see that that is our row number functions okay what about if we want to use rank rank is another analytic function that we can use right here i'll do a copy and paste just so we can uh, save some time right here so i have rank over then i do the partition as i did before okay and then i'm ordering by salary so i'm calling this rank okay so if we run this whole thing again i want you to see something right here execute um there is an error some okay this comma let's take that out let's execute again now you can see that when i used rank you can see what we have right here i have one two two okay two four you see there is no three for rank what rank does is that it assigns rank to each row okay within a particular result set but then in this case whenever there is tie it assigns the same rank to them whenever there is tie you can see 18000 and 18000 within this partition we have two 18000s okay and because of that that's a tie so it assigns the same it assigns the same rank to that okay however there is one other thing that it does it leaves a gap because it already assigns two to this it believes that instead of going to three it should be four because normally if you want to if you want to count this row it should be one two three four right so because it assigns two rows to be number two there it it feels like the next one should be number four the same thing if you come to it department right here you can see we have one you can see that here we have three tools 11,000 11,000 11,000 these are three tools and because of that there is no three there is no four but it skipped that and gave us what five and then we have six and then we have seven you can see that guys now between what is the difference again between row number and rank we can see that for row number it assigns unique row to all the, to the rows within a particular resource set for hr they all have unique rows for it they have unique rows but when you come to rank for each for within a particular resort set you can see that if there is a tie it assigns the same number however it leaves a gap like here we have two two twos therefore there is no three right here here we have three twos therefore there is no three and four do you get that now guys now let us see what uh what dense rank is what does dense rank is let me copy and paste that right here okay so for dense rank take note that dense rank is similar to rank you can see the way i'm writing the keywords dense underscore rank then you put a uh a open and close bracket then you put partition over partitioned by the department that's the the what, what do you want to partition it by so i'm partitioning by department and then i'm ordering by the salary because the question says the top three salaried employees and because it is the top then we want to decrease right we want to give them ranking from the highest to the lowest okay now in terms of dense rank dense rank is also going to work as rank but in this case there will be no gap it's not going to leave any gap let us run this query let us see what we get very good you can see this is dense rank you can see that for hr let us do this let us do this for hr right here you can see we have one which is twenty three thousand. that's number one we have two eighteen thousands therefore we have two twos right here then the third one is twelve thousand. you can see it has it as number three this one did not skip but for rank rank skipped that three 
you can see. But for row number, row number did not give us a tie when we add the same salary. Okay, dense rank and rank, they will give you a tie when you have the same salary. But then rank will skip the next number or the next few numbers depending on how many ties you have. Like in this case, we can see here we have three ties, right? Therefore, it skips three and four. Okay, now you can see that for this HR, we have one, two, two, then we have a three, we, are a, a, we have a four, we have a five. Now you can see the difference between row number, rank, and dense rank. So now if you take a look at this question, which one do you think will be the best in answering this type of questions? They said you want to display the top three salaried employees. If you use row number, you can see that row number right here is not really giving us a sort of ranking because for these two numbers, it did not differentiate these two numbers from others. It said 18,000, 18,000 is rank two and three. We know that it should not be this, it should not be like that. They should be having the same rank, right? Now, in terms of this rank, in terms of using rank, this is correct, right? 18,000, 18,000, they are rank number two. But then we missed number three. So that means there is no way we can get the, the third rank right here. Okay. But then rank give us the first one, which is the number, the top most salary. And then it gives us the second most salary. And then it gives us the third most salary for HR. Then for IT, it also gives us the top most. And then the second most, which are these three. Uh, this three salary is 11,000, right? And then it gave us this one that is 8,000, okay? So that tells you that dense rank is the best to use here for you to be able to get this question correctly. Therefore, we will take out this row number, okay? And then we only use dense rank. So if I run this, now you can see that we have been able to partition this into HR, and it with the correct ranking okay however we are not done with the question yet the question asked us to to display the top three salaried employees okay now if you want to do this you we can use a cte expression right here cte okay so i also take that this dense rank we have given it an alias right here we call it d underscore rank so what we can then do, we can say with, I can say with CTE as I can open a bracket right here and then close the bracket right here. Okay. So we are going to use CT writers to solve this problem set. Okay. Now what happens is that this CTE that we are engulfing inside this, this is how the table is going to be. We know that the top three will then be anyone that has one, two, and three rank. That means from year to year, one, two, three, and also from year to year, one, two, three, okay? So that means anything less than or equal to three in this D underscore rank is going to be our top three salaried employees in each department, okay? So now we are gonna say with CTE, we have this, okay, this is going to create a sort of temporary table right there for us, or it's going to create some table that is going to be stored in this um, CTE, and then we can query that, okay? Let's query this first, just so you guys can see. I can say, select star from this CTE right here, because what we have in this select is going to be stored inside this CTE. So I will say, CTE okay if I execute this you can see that we are still having the same thing as we had before okay however right now we need to use a where clause right now okay because we are trying to display the top three salaried employees that is the rank should be one two and three okay so I'll say where and what is the rank inside here this is D underscore rank I will say where d underscore rank is less than or equal to three. So this is going to be, so that means 
here right now is going to give us only those ones that has one two and three okay so if i run this right here you can see what we have right here now these are the guys that have the top three employ uh, salary in each department you can see we only have one two and three so this guy lewis roit and dave rob they 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 they, they, they both tie at eighteen thousand, okay and then john is the number three which is john doe which is at uh twelve thousand. okay the same thing applies to this one right here it very good guys i hope you guys now understand the difference between row number dense rank and also rank and how you can use dense rank to solve this type of problem set which is one of the top most questions that is being asked during a data engineering data analyst or data science interviews okay and also one thing i would like to point here is that there are times that you do not need to use this partition bar it depends on how the question is structured okay in another video i will show you the type of question that you can be that you can be asked that you do not need to show uh part there you do not need to use this partition bar okay all right guys if you find this valuable i highly encourage you to subscribe to this um channel and click on the notification bell so that you can be notified of any of our new releases please also do not forget to like and share this video if you have any question please do not forget to put that in the comment section below all right guys see you in the next class bye